Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Spring Tales, episode eight from We Creatives. I'm so excited to say that we have reached the end of our spring term. There are now eight wonderful tales for you to watch on our Insta, our website, or our YouTube channel whenever you feel like it. And don't forget that every single spring tale comes with a craft and activity for you to join into as well. This week we are going out with a bang celebrating music and musicians and I'm really excited because I'll be telling you the tale of the story of the musicians of Branham. Now it's not a story I'd heard of before but it's a fantastic tale about farmyard friends who go off on an adventure. And stick around afterwards because Ailish will be showing us how to make our very own musical instruments at home and who doesn't love that? So today's story takes place on a farm far, far away with four very, very good friends. Once upon a time, there were four old friends, a cow, a cat, a dog, and a cockerel. They all worked very hard on a farm and were very loyal to their farmer. The cow gave her milk to the farmer, the dog went hunting with the farmer, the cat caught mice for the farmer, and the cockerel, well, he cock-a-doodle-dood and was a feather alarm clock every single day. During the day, they worked very hard and were very, very busy, but at night, they would gather in the barn and play their music and laugh all through the night. The dog played her drum, the cow played the bass guitar, the cat played her guitar, and the cockerel played a saxophone. They were a merry old band, and the rest of the animals on the farm used to gather to listen to them play. Then one night, dog came running out with some bad news. The farmer thinks we're getting too old to work on the farm, she said. What are we going to do? Will he get rid of us? What shall we cockadoodle do? said the cockerel, wondering and panicking in a fluster. Let's escape, mewed the cat. We, we could go to Bremen and play our music. That's a good plan, yet the dog. So that night, while the farmer was asleep, the animals gathered their things and set off by the light of the moon. At first, they were very cheerful to be off on their adventures together. But after a while of walking and walking and talking and talking, they began to get hungry and it was really quite cold too. Just then, the cockerel saw a light in the distance. Look, a house. Maybe we can rest in there for the night. Maybe they'll have something to eat. And the animals made their way slowly, carefully towards the house. We should look through the window first, said the cat, just to make sure they're friendly people inside. And when they peered their little eyes through the windows, the friends saw a table full of food, breads and cheeses and meats and fruits. Oh, I'm hungry, cried the dog, let's eat. But sitting around the table were three nasty looking men. They look scary. I don't think they'll share their supper with us, cried the cockerel. I agree, said the dog, but luckily I've got a plan to get rid of them. We all have to work together, but we can make this happen. So the friends concocted a plan. The cow put her hooves up on the window and the dog jumped onto her back and then the cat clambered up and stood on the dog. Then finally the cockerel fluttered up and perched himself just on top of the cat. Three, two, one, woof the dog! The animals burst straight through the window mooing and barking and meowing and cock-a-doo-a-dooing! Help, a four-headed monster, said the nasty men, and they all ran away. The friends feasted in delight of their victory on the food, on the table, and made themselves warm and happy. They ate up every single last bit. Bedtime, woofed the dog when she was full. The cat got comfy by the fireplace. The cockerel perched on the top of a cupboard. 
The dog lay down in the doorway and the cow slept just outside with some straw as she liked it. Out in the forest, one of the nasty men saw the light go out in the house. Maybe they've gone, he said. Let's go back and see. So back he crept into the dark, past the window and into the house. But he tripped over the dog, who snapped at his leg angrily, and the cat jumped out, hissing and scratching and spitting at him. He ran outside, desperate to escape the house, and was never seen again. Stay away from the house, he told the rest of the men. Stay away. It is full of crazy creatures. The robbers never went back to the house again, and the animals turned it into their warm, cozy, permanent home. Every weekend they went to Bremen and played their music to adoring crowds in the town square whilst people came from all around to listen and dance. After all of their hard work and their very long lives on the farm, it was nice for the animals to do exactly as they pleased for a little bit now that they were old and they were all very happy with this life together. Thank you, Kat, for another lovely story. I can't believe that this is our last week of String Tales. I'm glad you know the story of the musicians of Bremen now, though, because it's time for you guys to become musicians too. I'm going to show you today how to make some simple instruments at home so you can have your own band, be your own musicians and make lots of noise. So the first thing we're going to do, we are going to make a shaker. So for this, you will need some rice. I've just got some in a little bowl there. You will need a glass jar with a lid. So an old jam jar or anything like that. You'll need some things to decorate your jar with. I'm going to use, I've got some little silver stars and I've got some cut out bits of paper. Um, again, going on from our recycling theme from last week, I'm using up some old scraps of, of card and things to decorate your jar. So that's the first job. Can you get your glass jar, decorate it however you like. You could use paint or pens, you could use stickers, you can use anything you like. Make it really nice and colourful. Okay, so once you've decorated your jar, you're ready to fill it. I hope your jar is looking nice and colourful. I go for a bit of a purple theme today. And I decided to pop a bit of ribbon on there too. So uh, you can have chosen lots of different things to decorate your jar with. Now we're going to add our dried rice to our jar and that's what's going to make our music. So you can use a spoon to spoon it in or you can ask a grown up to help you pour the rice in. I'll use a spoon just now. And it makes quite a good noise when it goes in first of all too. And if you don't have rice, but you've got something like lentils, that would work too. As long as it's dry, you could even try with cereal, just depending on what you've got at home. So there we've got our jar, and I've not put very much in, but I think we'll still get quite a good noise. I'm going to pop my lid on so that I don't pop rice all across the floor and give it a shake. And that is like a homemade maraca, isn't it? Now, if you go side to side, that's just the rice hitting against the jar. And that makes that noise. If you go up and down, the rice also hits against the lid and the lid is made of something different. It's made of metal. So you get a bit of a different sound. So you can have a play around with making some different noises. Okay, for our next quick instrument at home, we are going to need a cardboard tube, so a toilet roll tube or a kitchen roll tube, wrapping paper tube, tin foil tube, whatever you've got at home. You will also need a pencil and some scissors. I think you can probably decorate your tube so it looks a lot more fun and cool with different designs on. I'm gonna stick with cardboard just quickly to show you. So to make this, we are going to squash down our tube so that we get a bit of a flat edge at this side. And we are going to cut some little holes at one side. So, so there we go, I've cut some holes there and when I open that out, I've done some on the other side too. 
when you open that out, you can see that we've got these little holes and that means we've got these little ridges and those ridges are what are gonna give us our sound. I think I've got space for another cut just at the top there. So let me do that one. And then I will show you how to play. So again, we've got our tube, but it's got like little folds at either side. So it's not completely perfectly round anymore. And we are going to play on the edges of these with our pencil and that's going to make some quite cool sounds. So if you take your pencil from the top right to the bottom, it makes some quite interesting noises. I've done mine on the other side too. It's like a scraping noise and that percussion instrument that would normally be made of wood and played with a wooden stick we have just made out of things that we've got in our house. Okay, our final instrument today is going to sound a little bit like a bell. For this, you will need another glass jar with a lid and you'll need some pieces of pasta, dried pasta. You don't need to cook it first. And all we're gonna do, again, decorate your jar so that it's nice and pretty. You could try different things than you did with your shaker jar, um, but do your own designs, your own patterns, make it really nice and colorful for your band. All we're going to do is put a piece of pasta into the jar, pop the lid on, and swirl. Now that's an okay noise, but if you add some more pasta, three, four, five, I'm gonna go for six pieces. And if you swirl, it's quite a loud bell sound, isn't it? And that was with the lid off. I wonder how it'll sound with the lid on. Swirl it round. Oh, it sounds different, doesn't it? I think I maybe prefer it with the lid off. I think that's a better sound. And there we've got our three instruments that we've made at home. We've got our shaker, and you can do that one with a plastic bottle too. You pop the rice inside the plastic bottle to make a rainmaker that you can make different sounds with. We have got our percussion, we've got our go-go stick, and we have got our bell jar too. So have lots of fun making music at home. Thank you so much for joining us for Spring Tales and if you've not watched the other tales and the crafts and activities please go back and visit those just now.